hello students so in this video we will solve October 2023 p3 paper so I will try to show you in detail like uh, with all explanation as much as possible so that you can understand each and every single questions in the most better way okay so let's get started with the first question so in the first question uh, the first question is from numerical methods of p3 basically chapter number eight of your p3 book so the first question in this first question uh, basically numerical methods we have two topics in chapter number eight numerical methods the first one is locating roots so this is basically the first question it covers uh, question from locating roots and the uh, second one it's from the iteration fixed point iteration okay so let's start with the first question a curve has equation y equals to f of x where f of x is this okay f of x equals to x squared negative 5x plus e to the power x okay so they are asking in part a show that equation f of x equals to 0 f of x equals to 0 has a root alpha in the interval 1 2 so we need to show that basically we need to locate the root of f of x okay so the interval is given so for locating the roots what we will do at first at first we will put x equals to 1 into the equation and see what the value of f of of the function f of x is so if you put x equals to 1 you will get 1 minus 5 plus a so what's that use your calculator to find the value so e minus 4 this is negative 1.28 something so which is less than 0 we are locating roots basically so for locating roots we will put the upper limit and the lower limit of the interval so we put the lower limit first we got negative value now we will put the upper limit x equals to 2 into the equation so what we will get there uh, 4 minus 10 4 2 square is 4 minus 10 plus e squared okay so that means e squared negative 6 so what would be the value e squared negative 6 so this is basically 1.38 something which is a positive value which is greater than 0 so here you can see that between the interval x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 when you put x equals to 1 you got a negative value that means the curve f of x was below the x-axis and when we put x equals to 2 we got a positive value that means for x equals to 2 the curve is above the x-axis so to move from negative negative uh, y value to positive y value the curve has to intersect the x-axis and we know that at the point of intersection with the x-axis we have the root of a function so that means what we can write here here f of x has a sign change sign change between what between x equals to x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 between this interval there is a sign change of f of x and most importantly in this case in this type of question you need to mention that the, the curve f of x the function f of x is continuous within that interval continuous means the curve the function f of x don't have any asymptotes because if there is an asymptote the curve will be 
discontinuous okay so you need to mention it here that f of x and f of x is continuous continuous within the interval within the interval what 1 2 so since f of x is continuous and we saw that between this interval there is a sign change that means the curve is moving from negative y axis to positive y axis positive y axis so we can say that f of x so f of x equals to 0 has a root alpha within the interval within the interval 1 2 that's it that's all it's showed so just we have located the roots we got to know that the location of the root is between x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 that's it okay for let's move to part b the iterative formula as i said before in part b it will be from fixed point iteration so the iterative formula is given then with this equation we need to do the iteration method the initial value is given x1 the starting value is x1 which is 1 is used to find an ap approximate value for the root alpha okay fine for part b1 find the value of x2 to four decimal places okay we need to find out the value for x2 so the initial value is 1 so x1 equals to what 1 so x2 would be just plug in the value of x1 into the iterative formula so that would be square root of 5 square root of 5 minus e so this is basically so here you need to do some working with your calculator at first we will take 1 into our calculator and then press AC to keep it saved and then we will write this equation the iterative formula equation which is square root of 5 just in place of x n it will put answer so why we are we are putting answer because the saved one the saved one earlier will be in place of answer so minus e to the power again since it is x n in place of x n we will put answer and using your calculator you can keep it doing like if you press now equal you will get the value for x to 1.5 one zero how many decimal places they wanted four decimal places okay so five one zero five this is four decimal places now why we are using calculator here in iterative formula iter it in iteration basically so we have to do a process repeatedly so to do this process repeatedly we need to use our calculator to keep it continuous so we got the value for x2 now don't remove your equation from your calculator now we will carry on carry forward with that value we need the value for alpha so in part two this is the answer for part one we are done with part one now for part two we need to keep carry on with this iteration formula so we got x2 now let's find x3 just press equal now you will get the value for x3 1.7388 something then find out the value for x4 again press equal you will get 1.73305 and then let's move on to the next page we will find out x 5 x5 five. again press equal you will get 
four one seven something okay fine then you put x six x six would be again press equal one point seven three three nine six nine six and so on and then go for x seven just keep pressing equal for each of the x values so one point seven three four zero now how can you understand like when it will end like when we should stop our iteration like the method okay well so they asked for the value of alpha up to four decimal places for dp okay fine so in that case you will see that after like after doing carrying this process for some further steps you will see that the value is not changing up to four decimal place let's have a look we got once 1.7340 we will see this let's find x8 1.7 3399 look up to two decimal place it is not changing now so let's carry on forward we will see that after some steps later you will see that it's not changing up to four decimal place we got one point in x9 1.733 nine nine and so on look we got our answer how x8 and x9 they are not changing up to four decimal place the, the same basically not changing x the values of x is no further changing up to four decimal places so we got the value for alpha so alpha is what up to four decimal place alpha equals to 1.73 up to four decimal place it will be four zero since uh, the fourth decimal value is nine which is greater than five so we need to add one with the previous one so that is four decimal places okay so that's all about question number one of october 2023 paper